Hey YouTube, it's Alexi Giovanni and welcome back to my channel. This video will do a side-by-side -side comparison of the original Switch and the latest OLED Switch, which you can watch in an unboxing video linked on screen and in the description below. Aside from the OLED display itself, the dock has noticeable changes and let's have a look at them side-by-side. -side. The front which has the Nintendo branding has gone a little less obvious. The side with the two USB ports is visibly different, plus the power light is considerably smaller which would be great playing in the dark. The ports are a little bit more concealed and visually pleasing. The other thing to notice is that the curved cradle look of the dock of the OLED. The back side and door has been overhauled considerably. Branding is less prominent, but the changes are to the door. The OLED has a panel that pops off, whereas the original Switch has a hinged door. I imagine this will be a problem if you ever move around the dock, as the cables will cause it to pop off. The other thing to notice is that the internal USB is completely lost in lieu of the LAN port. I thought we'd be keeping that in addition to the Ethernet port, but looks like Nintendo have done away with it. A slightly higher cable slot is visible on the OLED, but the one thing to mention is that the inner rails of the cradle is very smooth on the OLED, which I think will make it a lot less abrasive to the face and the back of the Switch. And it's definitely a different material than the original because I've compared it to a Mario edition which has the exact same texture as the original Switch. Ironically, the outer surface of the Switch OLED is more matte, which is how I would describe the inner rail of the original Switch. I've always found the docking of the Switch was a little bit too tight. The OLED cradle looks and feels wider, but let's test that out now. I've found an object that is as close to the width as possible, which is this Apple MacBook USB-C to DisplayPort adapter, which you can see is fairly snug on the old Switch. But the OLED has a bit more wiggle room. I've also measured the object with a caliper so that you can gauge the sizing. I haven't got footage of it, but I've wrapped the object with a piece of tissue a layer at a time to see the difference between the gap. And so it seems that if you take a tissue and fold it in half and then fold it in half again, which is pretty much the gap difference, which is more than enough for a screen protector, which is what most people would be putting on the switch. I did make the mistake of using my existing Switch dock for the first few days, which has already scratched up my screen protector, so just a word of warning if you are watching this. The new Switch is said to have better sound, which I haven't had it long enough to be able to tell, but the speaker slots do look like they've moved out of the way for that much desired full width adjustable leg stand. It's a subtle change, but I'm a big fan of the power button recess. It makes it a lot easier to feel for it compared to the volume when you're engrossed in a game that you're playing. I'm hoping that means I don't accidentally leave quietly when I pick up and regrip the switch. So no doubt you're wondering, are they the same width for those of you who have got a third party grip or something like that? It's definitely wider as you can see here, and I've got some footage of the two side by side with calibers so that you can see and liken to the difference but it looks like it's a good two to three millimeter difference. So the bad news is it looks like it's wide enough to warrant a different grip if you've already got one. Given that it's wider, you might also be wondering, are they the same thickness? Well, it looks like they're pretty much the same and pardon the tissue that's protecting the surfaces. And here's a pic of the specs of the old and the OLED switch side by side for the AC adapter. So I didn't want to mix and match. I visited the same island and you can see the switches side by side, both in the exact same location. And just a disclaimer, the video camera that's recording this is obviously going to give you a different experience to what you're seeing in person. I do hope that you're enjoying the backdrop of some trumpet practice in the background. And if you haven't already, do check out another video of mine where my family and friends, plus myself, do a virtual performance of the Animal Crossing New Horizons theme, Welcome Horizons. So do check that linked video up above and in the description below at the end of this video. 
and I'm hoping to capture some of the footage that has the various different colors when it comes to the game. Here's a rainbow garden that we've got, and so I'm hoping that you can start to see the vibrant difference between the OLED and the original Switch. Oh, I've also set the brightness to the max on both switches. If you pay close attention to the bottom left where you can see the date and time, you'll see that the Switch OLED is slightly bigger, and so it's caused me to actually play at a further distance away from my eyes. Having said that, the benefit of the OLED is the handheld mode, so as soon as you dock it, you lose that extra ability. But there is rumor that the 4K is coming as a potential hardware unlock in the future. One of the big improvements that Nintendo have made to the Switch OLED is this new adjustable leg, which was a pain point for many players, so let me know in the comments if that bothered you. So I'm going to set up the two switches side by side with around about the same viewing angle as best I can tell with the adjustable leg stand of the new switch. And I'll give them a bit of a poke to see how they hold up at that viewing angle. And I'll give it a try on both corners. So this is on the weaker side, but funnily enough, it does just fall over. So let's give that leg stand a bit of a play and see what it feels like. You can get it to the point of 90 degrees and it is quite sturdy when you do move it around and it stays in place, which is kind of cool. You can push it up to that distance, but I felt a little bit uncomfortable getting it to that point. So all in all, that kickstand is extremely sturdy and it makes for great tabletop playing. Give this video a like if you haven't already, and if you are new to the channel, please consider subscribing and hit that notification icon so that you're notified as soon as I upload some new content. I hear there's a bit of a shortage when it comes to the OLED, so do let me know if you managed to get hold of one. Let me know in the comments if you've got your hands on one and what you think of it, and if you haven't, which region are you in? Well, I'm gonna leave you with two linked videos on screen, one of which is the New Horizons virtual performance, plus the unboxing video for the OLED. This is Alexi Giovanni signing off, and until next time, see ya.